In this video, we define terminal and initial objects in a category and prove they are essentially unique. In a sense, all constructions in category theory are terminal objects in some category. And since many constructions in mathematics are categorical, the identification of the category where the construction is the terminal object gives us a proper context in which to view such a construction. The definition of a terminal object is as follows. An object denoted by 1 in a category A is terminal if and only if for each A object X there is a unique amorphism, shriek lower x, from x to the terminal object. In other words, for each object x, the Homsa of morphisms from x to the terminal object is a singleton set. And in a category, terminal objects are unique up to unique isomorphism. To see this, let 1 and 1 prime be terminal objects in the category A. Then by the property of being terminal, there are unique morphisms from 1 to 1 prime and from 1 prime to 1, such that the compositions must be equal to the identity, since a monoid of endomorphisms of the terminal object is trivial. Then since this result shows that terminal objects are essentially unique, we may use the definite article, the, as in the terminal object, to describe it. And we say that a functor f from category A to a category B preserves a terminal object if and only if f evaluated at the terminal object in A is the terminal object in B. Then the dual notion of a terminal object is called the initial object in a category. So 0 is initial in A if and only if for each object x the Homme set of amorphisms from the initial object to x is a singleton set. And we use the same notation shriek lower x for the unique amorphism from the initial object to x since context will usually tell us which morphism we mean.